Guys, we're back in the car. We have two lids in store on this episode. This one and this one. We're gonna be heading over to Shiroishi Castle because that's where lid number one is. And we're gonna be here in Fox Village to walk around and roam around foxes. So stay tuned for that. That was the lid. Let me know in the comments what you think. I found an area where no one is currently, so I can take my mask off. This castle, which is right here, castle, is next to this shrine down that road. But what's really cool is if you go down these stairs right here, ugh, let's not fall. But you can sort of relax here, and you can see the view over, look at the town over in the distance in Shiroishi. Listen to the birds. It's super relaxing out here. I like it here. If you ever are in this area and you want to come check the lid out, and after the lid, definitely chill here in this area, go to the shrine, go up to the castle. There's a lot of things to do here, but let's take you to where I can't wait to go. Like super excited. This is, this is my excited face. I need to get a tripod. Ooh, the echo. Listen to it here. This castle is quiet. There's no one here. So you get to relax and sort of let the castle immerse you. Guys, this place is actually really cool for a castle. It's bright, sunny, but what I didn't expect inside the castle. So I went inside the gate and what I didn't expect is if you walk around, there's a huge not a park, but a sort of a place where you just sit, relax. Honestly, if you lived in this area, you could just sort of study, read books. I actually like this place. I do recommend it. The lid's here, castle's here, shrine's here, and special event coming up. If you like animals, stay tuned. <laughs> So from the castle, we took a 20 minute drive all the way to Fox Village, a location where you can walk amongst free roaming foxes, a location we found simply by following the PokéLid image details. Okay, just came outside of the Zhao Fox Village because of the previous lid with Nikit, which is a fox Pokemon. So because of fox Pokemon, nearby is a fox village, a location in which here, they house a lot of foxes, sort of like a zoo, except that you can walk within the foxes. They're like 50, 100, I don't know how many foxes. There's a fox here, there's a fox here. There's a fox, there's a fox. Everywhere there's a fox. There's so many foxes just roaming around wild, just fighting. The winner was the three-legged one. Peeing. No, don't do that. Doing whatever foxes do and making fox sounds. They do make sounds, by the way. What does the fox say? Apparently they sound like this. No supervision, you walk around, you can, I guess you could pet them, I did not. Hello buddy. You can take photos, you can take video, so I got some video. One of the foxes thought I was dinner and bit my leg. So you can sort of see that I got injured. Ah, uh, yeah, ouch. Do it again. What is with this? Oh, Ow. they bite. Mm. That sort of hurt. Ow. Why is it biting you? <laughs> That's what I expect normally. Run away. I have fox blood in me. I don't know, it hurts a little bit. So it is what it is right now. I gotta clean that up. But honestly, one of the most fun things I've ever had to do, mostly because foxes look cool and you get to be up close and personal. I've never seen foxes in real life, so that was the first time. So if you're ever in the area and you're in Shiryoshi, nearby the castle, and you see Nikit, the lid that we just found, you can come over here, 19 minute drive up the mountain towards Zhao, Zhao village, and you can find 
Fox Village. And you can be around foxes for only $10, 10 yen, 1,000 yen. And you can basically pet, well, walk around and be around a bunch of foxes. Really cool experience. We have one more lid for today, and that is by a dam. So what do you think the Pokemon is? While you are thinking what Pokemon will be showing up on the next lid, check out how majestic these foxes look. It's really something you would never have thought was possible. Foxes that are not behind a cage? Really refreshing to see them have more ability to be free. And they even decorate this location with a bunch of Tori gates, similar to the Inari Shrine in Kyoto, which has a whole lot of gates going up all the way to the top of the mountain. This location also has that majestic feeling. And ironically, we were able to oh find God. out the age-old question of what does the fox say, as you can hear in the background. Now let's head off. Leaving the village and heading down to the dam, we do find ourselves face to face with a couple beaverels. This goofy Pokemon is definitely on here because of the location. I wonder if we can find any beavers here. There is a rest stop. Perhaps there's something special inside there. All right, we got the lid here and we have finally got our last two lids on this video. So we got the Bibaro, which is over here because there's a dam down in the distance. Look at that beautiful sunset, by the way. I'm not thinking there's beavers there, but it sort of makes sense, right? So we could sort of, you know, hop over here. Oh God. Maybe they'll yell at me. We got Nikit and Lapras over in nearby Fox Village in Shiryoshi by the castle. And we got this lid right here by the dam. We're gonna head over to the dam, finish off this video. We got our two lids. That's got us to a total of 66 lids, which is by far insane. In terms of the Nikit lid, I love the Fox Village. I got bit, but I would rate that. The lid itself, six out of 10. I love that it was the foxes and the icy cold look but in terms of the actual lid, it was a little lacking in color. And this lid, uh, I don't really like B like Bibarel as a Pokemon, but the lid itself, eight out of 10. I really do like the location. It's very picturesque. So we're gonna head over to the dam, finish the video, uh, enjoy the montage. The next video is gonna have three lids, right here, right here, and uh, right here. So if you wanna see those, subscribe to the channel and follow the journey. If you don't wanna see them, subscribe to the channel and follow the journey. I'm just saying, you probably should subscribe if you watched this far. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Oh! <laughs> That's as far as I can go. I can still go further. Ooh. Okay, I made it. Lapras Umin. <coughs> special in this area. So of course we're gonna get it. What does it, do you think it's blue? What is that? It's so these are umen noodles mm. and Lapras mm. So maybe it's blue. Gotta try it out